Come on, give Hallelujah. him a clap offering. And you may have a seat. I thank God once again for being back into the house of the Lord. We want to pick up where we left off the last time. We're going to do part two of reliable men who are competent. So now one of the things I'm going to ask you to do with me as we go into the word when I say praise the Lord, I'm actually saying let's give God an honor and a praise. Amen? And your response will be what? Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because anytime that there's a word that's circulating inside of the spiritual realm, in order to receive the blessing from the king, we acknowledge him by praising him. And praise and thanksgiving always make room for more. So let's praise God for what he's about to do. There you go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Yes. And when you leave out of here today, what you received during this conference, you're going to be like a missile to the enemy. He's going to be on the run and you're going to be after him. And you're going to take back everything he stole from you. You're going to go and get back what he stole from your generations. And God will begin to bless you in a special way. Amen. 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 Now, if you have your Bibles, let's go to Matthew's, the 15th chapter. And we're going to go there at verse 21. I'm going to talk about the most reliable and competent person that we have known in history. And that is Jesus Christ himself. And he He was a son that was faithful. That meant that he was reliable to God. The Bible says he was full of wisdom. So that made him competent. In other words, he was set and ready and can do the job. Over in Matthew's the 15th chapter verse 21. We'll read at verse 21 and we'll get started from here. Then Jesus went dense and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sodom. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thy son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. But he answered her not a word, and his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. And verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meek to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. 
kuto ki amu akara won mo ki afi fun aja and he said and she said truth lord yet the dogs eat the crumbs which fall from their master's table o si wi pe be ni oluwa awon aja ma je ninu irun ti o ti ori tabi lo oluwa bo sile then jesus answered and said unto her o woman great is thy faith bid unto thee even as thy will and her daughter was made whole from that hour nigba na ni jesus dan o si wi fun pe obirin yi igbagbo nla ni tire ki ori fun gege bi iwo ti nfe asimo mo bi re larada ni wakati kan na now there were only two people in the bible that were said to have had great faith Nino by Jesus. Ninu gbogbo bibeli eyan meji pere ni Jesus so fun wa wi pe igbagbo won to bi. But today I want to tell you there's actually three people that Jesus is going to say had great faith. Sugba mi fe so fun loni wi pe ni toto eyan meta gan ti eni igbagbo won to bi ti Jesus so. And that third person is really you. Come on now, that's you. Give God a praise offering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're talking about being reliable and, and being ni, competent. Now, one of the centurions that Jesus talked about was a centurion soldier that said, Speak the word only. And when this young lady came along, she was the second person. But after today, you're going to be the third person that God is going to know that you can trust his word only. Okay, so let's begin to look at some challenges that will challenge your faith in order to stop the move of God. Look at verse 22 of the 15th chapter of the book of Mark. And it said, Behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thy son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. And and he answered her not a word, and his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. Out of the three things that we're going to look at at this particular time, one of them is the silence of Jesus. There will always be times when you will have to exercise your faith and move into action knowing that the word of God can get the job done. This is what makes you so powerful because you're going to be uh, reliable towards what God has said and you're going to be competent knowing that this is going to work. The Bible said that she cried after him. In other words, she put her faith into action. There will always be two types of people that you will find moving in the faith. See, the, the faith that says, I believe but does not move on what they believe is really not faith. Because 
But great faith is the type of faith that's persistent. It's going to push, it's going to come, it's going to believe, and it won't be stopped. Real faith is moving on the word of the living God. When you leave out of here today and you go to, to different parts of where you minister at or where you work at or if you leave out tomorrow, remember the odds going to come up against you naturally. But you're going to believe God and you're going to receive the victory. Amen? Now, the Bible said in uh, Matthew 15, 23, But he answered her not a word, and his disciples came and besought him, Send her away. She cried after us. The second thing you'll recognize here is that the rejection of other people will always be trying to stop your faith from doing what God called you to do. Just because someone rejected you. Don't let that become the obstacle between you and God and that breakthrough. Many times people reject you and if you take it to heart, it blocks the miracle. Rejection will stop you from pursuing after God. You remember David when he was in Ziklag. And they had burnt the camp down and took the women and all the children and was gone. All his men spoke about stoning him. He was being rejected at that moment. And he did not stop and start crying and saying, woe is me. But he went into that prayer closet and begin to cry out to God. Should I pursue after them or should I stay right here? See, because he was persistent in what he was doing. And he was reliable to God. And he was a comforting king. He trusted the word that would come from God. And God told him, pursue and recover all. He didn't ask God. God, well, what do I need to do to uh, beat them or stop them? As you go in faith and go by the word of God, the spirit of, of might and power will come on you. And so you'll become the super person that God's going to send out there. Come on, give him a praise offering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So don't let rejection stop you from going after what you know rightfully belong to you. This woman was not going to let opposition stop her. She knew her opportunity was now, not some other time. Many of you today, God is saying, your opportunity is knocking at the door right now. 
In a few past this opportunity, your life may never get back on track. Because God never wastes words on anybody. Either you're going to be like Moses, get up and go over to Pharaoh's palace. Or you're going to be like Gehazi and become a leper. So this is your moment to become the person that God is calling you into. Amen? The disciples kept asking Jesus, send her away, send her away, send her away. The more they said, send her away, she kept coming, she kept coming, she kept coming. The more your problem persists, the more you got to pray and believe. You got to tell yourself today, I will not be stopped. I will get what God has ordained for me to have and do. Today is the day of victory for me. Come on, give him a praise offering. Thank God for your change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Your circumstances may be trying to turn you away right now. See, the enemy likes to attack you in your mind. But you're going to have to pull down every stronghold. Because those that are strong in the Lord, they would do exploits. There's nothing going to be mentioned about a weak person or a failure in life. Only great words and statues go to people that are doing great things. Look at verse 24, Matthew 15 chapter. Matthew 15 chapter. And he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. This is most people stop in their tracks. Because they feel like they're hearing that they don't deserve it. See, most people that have passed along the way in life, they're stuck in one place because they heard bad news. Everything was against this woman. She was a Gentile. She was a sinner. She was a woman. And she was told that I wasn't sent to you. But this woman persisted. She was not hearing anything about I'm a Gentile. That, that I'm a sinner that I'm a woman and I was not sent to you. She said, I'm not letting anything stop me today. I got a problem and you're the problem solver. This woman had great faith. Great faith said, if I can't get through the door, I'm coming through the roof. When you get back, you got to tell yourself, I'm going to build this church. I'm going to win those souls. I'm going to deliver those people. Come on, give God a praise offering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are unstoppable in this kingdom. 
God said that you're more than a conqueror. He said you're able to do all things through him. And there's nothing impossible to you because you're a believer. So praise God for the power that's resting on you. Now, it was several things that I like about this woman. She, number one, she was short and to the point. She needed a miracle. See, many times we spend our time dealing with things that's not relevant to us at the moment. In other words, if you need a healing, while you're reading about the soon coming king, you need to get in the word and major on those scriptures of healing. By his stripes I'm healed. He was wounded for my transgression. In other words, the area that the enemy is attacking you in, you need to go and fortify yourself in the word. When I didn't have the money to travel around the world, I went and studied everything in scripture about God supplying resources to me. I built my faith up to the point that money began to flow to me naturally. And God will do the same for you. You just need to apply the wisdom of God to your life. Expand your faith so large that God will have to come and land inside of your house. You are a dangerous person to the enemy of darkness. The one thing darkness cannot stand up against is when light come into the room. When light come, darkness flee. And once God illuminates you with the truth, everything about darkness in that area will flee out of your life. When I came to the body of Christ about 39 years ago I was reading scriptures on healing and I found out that laughter was like medicine and I said I'll never be sad another day in my life the joy of the Lord became my strength and so for the last 39 years no real doctor could tell you I had a chance to do anything to him in other words my testimony is I've been healed and walking before the Lord for 39 years off of a word from God hallelujah and starting today you're going to grab that same anointing and you're going to walk in divine health you're going to walk in divine wealth you're going to walk in divine light you're going to walk in the divine power and the enemy cannot stop you hey Hallelujah. 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 She was hungry for a miracle. 
She said, Lord, have mercy on me. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. And then she said, Lord, help me. She had approached him and was not listening to anything negative. Quit listening to the spirit alike. Stop, stop listening to the spirit of unbelief. Your faith is the substance that can create whatever you need and bring it to your life. She was humble in her approach. The Bible tells us that we're to humble ourselves in the sight of the Lord. And then he will lift us up. So she walked humbly before the Lord. And then at verse 25, she came and worshipped him. She had a fervency on the inside of her heart. She didn't care what everybody else around her thought about her. She had disciples saying, send her away. I had Jesus saying, I was not sent to you. But she got on her knees and worshiped him anyway. She loved on God. And when your circumstance don't seem that it's moving, and things seem not to be changing. I want you to break off into a crazy praise and start worshiping God. Come on, give him one right now. Hallelujah. Come on, give him a crazy praise. Give God the highest praise. Glory. Open the windows of heaven with a praise. And watch how God bless you. The next thing is she became desperate. See, when you're in a place of desperation, that means despair has moved in. But will you be reliable and competent at the moment to know what God has said? See, she was being overcome by defeat. Perhaps you are tired of everything trying to stop you. But you got to use what's in you and what you believe and stop that thing. She, she knew that Jesus had the power to heal her daughter. She had the faith to not let criticism stop her. Look at verse 26 of the uh, 15th chapter. When he said, but it's not me, he, and he answered and said, it's not me to take the children's bread and cast it to dogs. And she said, Lord, True Lord, yet the dogs eat the crumbs which fall from the table. She go down we pay ko to ki amo akara won mo ki afi fun aja o si wi pe be ni oluwa awon ma ja na a ma je ninu erun ti o te ori tabi lo oluwa won bo sile. When things get rough when you go back home. Ni igba ti o gbogbo ti o ba da wo duro ni gba I mean ti o ba je di won ni gba ti o ba fe gba ti o fe gba. Stay at the master's feet. Mad kuro and, and stay there by faith. Now here's the last one. Her faith brought the answer and the miracle. Then Jesus answered and said unto her. Verse 28. He said, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee, 
even as thou will. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. You see the power of your faith can change the circumstances. It can overcome rejection. And it can pull the blessing you need right to you. So it's time for us to walk in faith. On another level. So that we can be reliable men and women for the kingdom of God. We're not going to walk in ignorance. ignorance. But we're competent. We're fully aware that we're the anointed ones. We're aware that miracle signs and wonders flow with us. We're aware that God is working with us. And he's working through us. With all of these miracles and signs so that he can win the world to himself. This woman stayed in worship. And that's the thing that we're going to take out of here today. You don't worship God unless you believe that what you're worshiping for is going to happen. So we're going to stop right here and I'm going to ask everybody to stand. Glory be to God. Now, let's begin to praise God. And I want you to praise him because there's something that you're believing God for. I want you to focus your spirit on that thing and begin to worship God like the Syrophoenician woman and say, I'm not leaving till I get it. But what's in your alone yet? On ton let it know alone. Mo fe ki o fi o kan re si ko wa ma fi yen so pe eleyi ni mo re ti o mi o de ni kuro nbi o di gba to ba temi lowo come on give god about one good minute of a wild praise in here mo fe ki a fi akoko to dara sile lai lati yan olorun logo bele te je gba koko re to ma se nu odun yi mo fe ko se tokan tokan all right come on let's begin to praise him come on come on give it to him let your voice everything that have breath ought to begin to praise the lord Lord. Praise God out of your heart. Praise God out of your spirit. Praise God with everything in you. Come on. You have about 45 seconds, but I want you to give him what belongs to him. And God's going to bless you. He's going to let the anointing ride in on you. Come on. Praise God. Praise God until that thing break. Praise him until that thing come to you. Praise God until that door open. Praise God until that channel change. Praise God until that child come home. Praise Praise God until that healing take place. Come on, praise him like a minute. You have about another 20 seconds. Come on, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Tell God, thank you. Tell God, I appreciate you. Tell God, I want it. Tell God, I trust you. Tell God, I'm following you. Tell God, I'm going with you. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Praise the Lord, the living heaven. Hallelujah. You are God from Glory beginning be to, God. to the end. There is no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. Give it to him. Give it to him. Give it to him. Praise him. Praise him. You are God from, from beginning to the end. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are God all by yourself. Glory be to God. Jesus. From beginning to Hallelujah. the end, there is no place for argument. You are you no place for argument. Worship him argument. because he's God. You are God yeah. all He's God all by himself. You are God. Hey. From beginning Jesus. to the end. Hey, he's worthy. There's no place for a human. He's worthy 
of the praise. You have called all by yourself. Come on, love on him, love on him, love on him. Glory. From beginning to the end. Yeah, God. That's the place for IG man. Yeah. You are God all yeah. by yourself. Love on him. Love on him. Love on him. You are God. Hey, 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 hey. From beginning to the end. The one that you're gonna look to. He's all by himself. He'll do it. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's opening up the doors for you. Receive the miracle. Receive the miracle. Receive that miracle. He's doing it. He's doing it. It's God. He's doing it. Not a man. Not an organization. But he's doing it. Come on. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Love on him. Just love on him. You're changing. You're changing. He's changing your life right now. He's changing you right now. Hey, receive it. Re receive your change. Healing. Breakthrough. Financial blessing. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Let it. Now, if you list by faith, you got to know I got it. You can't be saying I'm trying to get a job. You got to say I got the job. Faith is always now. You already have that ministry. It's already grown. Because God said when you believe it, you'll receive it. So today, you're walking out as a living miracle. Things, things will begin to happen just because God sent it your way. So as we close this out, I want you to let your heart open up to God. And everywhere you go, tell yourself this all the time, every day, and everywhere you go. That God has anointed me with the Holy Ghost and with power. And I'm going to go about doing good just like my Savior. So when you go, remember you are anointed. And these signs shall follow them that believe. So walk in your belief. And you turn the worst situations around. In the mighty name of 
Jesus. Ni orukola Jesse. We declare. Akadere. That you. Beiwo. Are powerfully anointed. Otiti ene ti afi agbara ti ami oloro yon. And you are. Ni nure. Dangerously anointed. The devil is running because he knows that you're coming. The anointing will put the enemy to flight. And you're dangerously anointed. Now go in the faith and go in the power and walk under the anointing. In Jesus' name. God bless you. I want you to be your Lord to receive us created all things and for thy pleasure they are and were created. Praise the Lord. Blessed be God forever. I want to thank God for such wonderful ministry.